We have a very, very, very small amount of the Bunny Marine Field Center left. These will be shipping uh, late March, early April. I'll leave a link down below so you guys can grab yours today. Alright, to the 34% of you that have not smashed the F11 crap out of that subscribe button, smash it so we can climb up the 100,000 ladder here, and we will have the rest of the goodness for the sets today, actually, from the box openings. I actually can't wait. So, we gotta talk about Nightmare Corruptibly. I know, we talked about this last week on Market Watch. Robbie, why are you pushing the... I'm, I'm just telling you that, like, this is starting to come up. So, basically, like Mushroom Man number two, what you do is you kind of go through full combo. You make um, Almirage with this for protection, and then you hand this over to your opponent. Now, this is a Dark Monster, and it does lose to a Bice Steel. Let's be completely upfront about that, all right? Um... So yeah, <laughs> you uh, you do lose out pretty big to that. Uh, Nightmare Corruptor, uh, six, $7 down here. But these first dead copies, seeing these things hitting $22, $22, 19 bucks, um, that tells me that a lot of people believe in this right now. So if, if you're like, oh, you know, I'm gonna play the waiting game and see if this actually does have an interaction, that's perfectly fine. I, I just wanted to let you know that, hey, they are continuing to rise up in price. Card is absolutely amazing. And yeah, good stuff. Uh, Lingaribos. So, what happens when your opponent hands you a Nightmare Corruptor? Like, how can we how can you get, get rid of it? Well, Lingaribo here actually has a special summoning mechanic of a level 4 lower cyber monster. We did it! We linked out that pesky Lingaribo, or that pesky card. You don't have to deal with it. The super rares are 21 cents. If you don't want a nice looking ultra rare, you're like, you know, I'm gonna break the bank, that extra dollar really gonna hurt. You have 200 plus copies down here of super rares that you can invest in and be ready to, to link out that angry nightmare corruptor, I believe. So yeah, a little, little bit, they are going down in listings. Still have 86, you're not in any real danger at the moment, but just kind of keep a little bit of a heads up on that. And of course, El Mirages are doing their thing. I just want to point out there's 111 for dual overload and 112 for the maximum gold. So you're not in any real crazy rush here to be caught with your pants down. But the secret rare versions, you know how the community is with original prints of cards, right? Um, <laughs> you love to see it. Plus, fun fact, this actually gives you protection for one of your monsters. Can't be destroyed by your opponent's card effects this turn. Actually ends up being pretty good on a big cash tier monster. Uh, Six dollars, five dollars, and somebody paid nine fifty for a near mint. Um, I mean, look at a light play for seven bucks. Yeah, you are. You have very few copies at the seven dollar mark, and then you, you're hitting the ten dollar mark very, very quickly for Al Mirage. So, if you're planning three cards, literally dedicated for the Nightmare Corruptor Ibley package, you know the card to out it, the card to spin it on over, and the card itself. Very, very interesting times to be in the market. So. Punk package. So, uh, we saw that we got the gold pride archetype. Uh, a few people were like, okay, so, you know, how can we, how can we fundamentally take advantage of this? Well, punk is the answer. Um, you can definitely tell that we've had a, th these have been going up for a little while, $50, $63, and $62. <sighs> we are definitely a very consistent $60 plus dollar card now for the collector's rare for this. In my very personal opinion, I don't know how long this will maintain. Ogre Dances are also getting cratered off the market here. I'm not surprised about this. These recently shot up very, very hard. $20, 21 and 28 were your last sold listings on these. And you very easily are a $40 card at this point. So your punk package, to nobody's surprise, is doing its thing. The Amazing Dragon, also at $20. Uh, you're at 14 bucks for these. The Ogre Dance is also trickling on up $3. Uh, these have gone down. This is good. The Amazing Dragon itself, actually being a dollar, is very, very good. Jam Dragon Drive, 20 cents. The rest of the deck, besides like your key engine pieces, have really settled down. And that, that's really what you want to see at the end of the day. Anything else back in Grand Creators? Oh, yeah, right over Mesias. These are back up to $115. You know, I didn't think that we would see this, but it's happened. The Water Enchantress is still at 65, so that's fine. Boxes are still at 63, okay? Torrential Tributes at 50s. Mikhail's at 42s. 
Uh, right of our Mesier is at 41s. Psalm Strikes at 35s. Yikes. Uh, Emergency Teleports, still a market price at 34. Okay. Faithful Adventures, these are still $35. Yikes. Your Exosister stuff has blown itself back out in value. Yeah, you remember when Exosister stuff was like the hotness, right? So many people were like, yeah, you have to buy this. No, they, they've calmed down, so that's the current status of uh, punk stuff. About what you really expected. Uh, Gishki cards. Now, I, I shouldn't need to tell you this. We've talked about this like every single market watch. I just wanted to bring back up the DT cards and see if there's been any changes. You're still at $33 right now for these. No Abysses are still 35s. Zell Gigases are 14 bucks. That's amazing. Uh, the super rare Gishki Abysses are 20 bucks. A hidden arsenal, super rare, is twenty dollars. Think about that for a second. It almost makes you want to go dig through bulk. Seven dollars, yeah. Gishki photo mirrors, fifteen bucks. This is so like crazy. At the end of the day, just how this is turning over, I don't even really know what to say about this. It, it's just, it's amazing to me that this is the current status of Gishki cards. I'm not gonna go back anymore, but like. Yikes. That's amazing. Master of Blades. So I keep getting told, hey, Robbie, I'm telling you, Master of Blades is the pickup right now. I'm like, no, it's not. Like, okay, detach a material from this card when an effect targets this face up card. Like, okay, I understand that you have room in the deck to play cards like Master of Blade, but that just sounds so awful at the end of the day. Like, what is the purpose? Like, nothing really targets in this format that you give two craps about. What are they going to do? Imperm this? Like, they're not going to imperm it anyway. Like, there's no point. Like, it, it's just some some people are just trying to look at rank sevens. They're like, oh, 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 yeah, I can make this in cash here. Uh, stop. You have a better chance of making the, the Titanic Moth, in my personal opinion. And there's infinite Italian copies on the market, like, for 250s. They're they're infinite. You you have you're good. You are good to go. If you want an English copy, they're four basically five dollars post shipping. I uh, I do not highly recommend going after this one either. If you have the room once again, sure. But those would be the only real reasons I would consider them. Spellbound. I'm gonna keep watching this card because I think this card's good. Uh, four fifty eight dollars and six dollars. Okay, six bucks. This is a very consistent $6 card at the moment. That's personally what I like to see. Spellbound, so I still think, is one of the coolest design cards. I still think, for all intents and purposes of this, you still want to have an original playset of these just to be able to play with them. And that's really good. Um, Springen's Explorer. Huh, these are still 2 bucks. Merrymakers are $3. Who's shocked about that? Nobody? Um, I remember we made the video talking about, hey, maybe maybe you want to pick up some Spriggan's cards. Like, Captain Sargass is coming, you know, the deck kind of has a Soul Charge plate. It's actually pretty cool, at the end of the day, what you can really do with this deck. So, um, just heads up, Merrymaker, literally, like, the generic go-to card to make Sargass. Literally, like, three to four bucks. It's not going to break the bank. Ah, oh, boy, Book of Lunar Eclipse. Here we go again. You know these are still sitting at $100. Seeker Rares are still like $7. I still love the fact that those are up. 237 listings for Supers. It's not like, if you don't want to play this, that's fine. You don't have to. It's just another utility option to counter cash tier at the end of the day. So, very cheap options. Semi-nice looking options. Nice looking options. Plenty of things available to you, alright? Uh, let's see here. The Romancer Geek Boy. $7. Basically 10 bucks. Libermancer Fires. Hey, you guys remember when these were like, what, like 20 bucks the other week? No way. They went down in price? Wow. Yeah, this card should have never spiked as hard as it did. And they are coming back down. So, hey, if you have been waiting for cheap Libermancer cards, good stuff, actually. Um, the regular Geek Boys are five bucks. Um, your Doom Brokers are basically dollars after shipping. Isn't that what you want to see? You want to see cheap cards, you know, crashing down in value so you can get the che or chance to get them? Yeah, that's that's what you want to see in a market like this. So, I'm not going to go into too much more. There should be pre-sales rolling up tomorrow um, for Saturday morning. We will take a look at what's going on 
in the craziness of the market for that. And well, I will see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace out. Patrons, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.